Hi everyone, I've been asked to show how I use the tools to create some simple drawings and I thought we'd use it in conjunction with making this butterfly edge topper. The little butterflies, or the alternate little butterflies you can see, are still attached to the card and the wings are just folded up so they look like they're flying. The alternate ones are actually cut completely out. But you could actually save those and use them somewhere else if you wanted. All you'd need to do is stick this on the top of your card and add a few other embellishments. First of all, I want to make a little butterfly. Now the way I'm going to do this is the way I use the tools in the program. You may find a different way, but it works for me. And um, obviously I'm going to show you the way that I'm using. So let's take the curve shape tool and we're just going to draw out a rough shape of the top of a butterfly wing. Just We can take the edit point tool and just curve that in a little bit if we want to to give it a slightly different shape and if we take it down to near the one at the bottom you can see that it'll snap to it I'm not too worried about this inside shape here because we're not actually going to be using that but we want a closed shape so let's just move that round until we're happy that that looks like the top of a butterfly wing in the bottom part, I'm just going to take the circle tool, hold down the shift key, which will keep it a perfect circle. You don't need a perfect circle, but that is a little tip if you want a perfect circle. Hold the shift key down and drag out a circle. And as you can see, we've got the start of half of a butterfly. We've got those two. Just to keep them together, we're going to go down the bottom and group them. Select them. Go to Replicate and we want to mirror right and that will do a copy and flip it over we just want these bottom two let's move it over a little bit there just want them to overlap now we want to draw a body in the end we're not going to have all these lines we're going to have one complete things but this is how we're, we're drawing the pieces as we go along just draw a shape that's going to connect them all together want that a little bit take the selector just want that a little bit shorter because I don't want a head sticking out on that part but we're going to use a circle for a head or a little oval let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I've done there so we've got we drew the left wing put the circle on the bottom we then went to replicate and mirrored right which gave us an exact copy turned over which we moved slightly so that our two circles overlapped each other we then took the circle tool and drew an oval to connect all four pieces and then we just put a little head shape in the middle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select all of them by just dragging a box round, go to the modify window and we're going to weld. And there we've got our first butterfly shape. So you can use that technique for any shapes that you want just by using different tools down the side here and as long as you've got them on a closed path you can join them somehow or other with an extra bit or whatever you want to do just so they're overlapping and then you can then weld them so what do we do next first of all we what we're going to make three different size butterflies so the ones i used in the sample was 18 15 and 12 millimeters so if we go up to the scale window while I've got it selected I want to keep it that shape so I'm going to lock the aspect ratio at the bottom here so whatever I do to one of these sizes will automatically change the bottom one as well so we'll make our 18 mil first and say apply then we're going to copy and paste it and we're going to change that to 15 and apply and then copy and paste again and we're going to change it to 12 and apply so I've got three different size butterflies because I don't want to have the small one cut I'm going to put the small one next this one's going to be a cut one we'll have the small one going in the other direction this one can be a cut one as well that one in and 
and then we're going to copy and paste that the middle sized one. So that's the order. I've got the large, the small, and two of the medium sized ones. So we're sort of about cutting them now. Okay, so we want this butterfly and this butterfly to have no centre so that when, when it's cut, it'll just cut the two wing shapes and leave the centre part attached. So let's just zoom in a moment. And we take the knife tool and we're just going to slice straight down the side of the wing into the bottom. Take it again and do the same to the other side. Select the centre part drag that out and we can delete that because we don't want it. Now you can see we've got two halves but at the moment that will still cut the complete wing out because we've got a cutting line down the centre here. So how do we get rid of that? So if we take the point edit tool and click on it, right click on the one at the top and break the path, you can see that that did spring up slightly but we can reshape that in a moment. And then this one we right click on the top one there and we delete the point. Do the same with the other side, click on it, right click on the top, break the path and then delete the one on the bottom. So that's the, the two halves that we've got there but we just need to select that and just reshape the top slightly. There might be a different way of doing that but I've found that this works for me and I think sometimes if you find something that works then don't mess with it it's you know it's okay so we don't need it too close together because don't forget these actually are very very small little butterflies it's just that I'm zoomed in quite close and, and they look larger but if you go in too close you'll end up the paper will tear and you won't end you won't have um, wings that will flip up do the same with the other one take the knife make a slice you have to pick the knife up each time. It doesn't stay with your tool. Just take that part out. Delete it. Break the path. Delete the point. Break the path. And delete the point. And just shape that. Now we've got a little... I think we must have got part of the head when we did that one. So... We'll just reshape it. it had a little poke on the top there that we didn't want okay i think that's all right now to keep these together we need to group them so if we just take the select tool drag a box around those two halves and just group it at the bottom so we're going to be moving them if we move them in a moment you'll find that the two halves would move apart separately which we don't want so let's just group that and zoom out now i want to put eight butterflies going across all together so select it we're going to group them at the moment just to keep them together copy and paste and just move the other ones along there if you find lining them up easier to put the grid on then just click on the grid which is this little blue check bit at the bottom here and show grid and then while you've got it selected you can move it up onto a grid line use your select box just to line them up it's easy because obviously that's straight and then just move this one up as well so that we know that they're all lined up now it's easy to see without the grid on so we just turn that off again at the moment now i've got them lined up there but they're not necessarily spaced apart even as you can see that one's a little bit closer i'm not quite sure about the others so if we select them all for the moment and we want our box we're going to have this finished one just under about the whole complete thing just over 200 so if i make this about 195 that should be okay go up to our align window and space horizontally as you can see nothing will happen and that is because we've got them grouped at the moment so we need to ungroup them now space horizontally and you can see they've all moved about a little bit let's just go back and I'll show you that again if you just watch them you'll see as I space horizontally 
they'll move apart the cut pieces have stayed together if they weren't grouped anyway individually as I moved those spaced horizontally you'd find that they'd split apart and you'd end up with an uneven gap so we need to make sure that these individual ones are grouped but we can't space them horizontally when we have the whole lot grouped together okay that's stage one so we've got our butterflies made so if we just again select them all and we group them that will keep them all together now we want to have a fancy shape around the top so if we go up to the offset, select offset outside, and then I'm going to move my slider along until I just find that the offsets begin to overlap each other. Just take that back again. You can just watch. You see them overlapping each other, and that's as far as I need to go. Say apply, and you've now got your offset shape, which is that one back again completely surrounding your butterflies just move the butterfly row out of the way for the moment so we're going to have the butterflies on the top and the bottom and we know that we want the piece of topper to measure 145 millimeters in total so if I drag a box that just fits around the top of that for the moment just select it, squeeze that up to 145. We want the same on the bottom as well. So we select the offset butterflies, go up to replicate and mirror below. Let's put it right down the bottom of the page, but just bring it in just so that it just touches. The edge of our box move that in slightly just want to come in a fraction that side just so that it's skimming the sides of our cut shapes so we know that the finished size is going to be 208 millimeters which is probably a little bit large so I'm just going to if we use the corner handle bring it in a little bit and the same thing we want to do with the make those slightly smaller so they'll fit because I've changed that one I'm going to delete this bottom one and mirror it again to get exactly the same size because I want my top and my bottom to be the same okay if you're trying to get that lined up and you're you're trying to move it with your mouse and it's not really it's, it's sometimes a bit juddery. If you use your arrow keys, you can nudge them over until you're quite happy that it fits. Okay, so let's see what size we've got now. So if we select the whole lot, you can see that our middle box is 145 millimeters tall and 202 millimeters wide, which is the size that I'm aiming for. But at the moment, the fancy edges are within that size so what we want to do is just select the square or the rectangle I should say and just squeeze that down so that it's coming about halfway across across our shape drag a box around the whole lot go up to modify and weld and there you've got your outside shape already done now if you've got any odd pokey bits there is a bit on the side there let's just zoom in just right click on the point and delete the point we could do the same at the bottom there and that's smoothed off you might find that you'll just need to round that again slightly have a look I mean it wouldn't matter too much but you don't really want an odd bit cut on your topper so just take those and, and um, smooth them out Now all we need to do is bring our butterflies back in, arrange them where you feel that you want them. So you can see that this shape is exactly copying the shape of your butterflies. And again, select them and go up to replicate and mirror below and they will immediately turn over.
and give you an exact copy underneath and you can just move that down into position select the whole lot and group them just to keep it together and that is your butterfly topper alternate ones will just cut the wings and leave the centre part fixed so that you can flip them up the other little ones will cut out so you've got some spare butterflies if you wanted to use now I hope you've understood what I was doing there it shows you how to make a simple shape and also using the modify button with the world how we've actually made those into one large topper